Today we did a preventative fungicide application trying to prevent the powdery mildew from forming, which is our largest problem here with wine grapes. Here we utilize backpack spraying as this is a head trained Zinfandel, so it's impossible to get through at this point with the tractor. Today we're out here doing a commercial application using our uh, Yamaha remotely piloted helicopter, the RMAX. A reason we landed in vineyards is it's a challenge to treat some of the smaller fields and the fields that are on steep hillsides. They're currently being treated with workers wearing a 40 pound backpack that walk through spraying the field with all the chemicals all around them. Here in Napa Valley, there's so many vineyards that are tight row spacing and difficult terrain to get to. So we have an experimental design where we are comparing the Yamaha RMAX to the backpack sprayers, spraying completely randomized sections of the field, comparatively looking at coverage, efficacy, and controlling that disease. I think some of the advantages are timing. It's a lot easier to come in and spray with the RMAX. Backpack spraying takes a little bit longer to do, um, takes a lot more manpower. I think that the RMAX looks like it's less compaction. A lot of compaction can cause decreased root growth. These are all preliminary benefits from the RMAX. It's been used for 25 years in Japan. In about the last five years, they've begun to expand it to new markets. Our initial target is targeting vineyards in Napa County and Sonoma County. What we're doing is Yamaha's offering a service. We will not be selling the units. We want to maintain ownership of the units. Uh, we want to make sure that they are used properly. And we also want to make sure that the strict maintenance schedule is followed. A vineyard would contract out to us, so it will be Yamaha pilots, Yamaha staff that are performing the spray service applications. I really got excited with the Yamaha RMAX. Our goal here is to always create the best quality wine grape that we possibly can. We need to look to the future a lot for new technologies and decrease a lot of the potential worker exposure and grow wine grapes in the future and in a sustainable way. This is just the first step. Um, there could be additional crops, additional ways to utilize the RMAX uh, that will only grow the market even more here in the U.S.